Hey there, my Diversity and Cinema Academy fam. I'm Theta Catalan, and I'm back with another exciting episode in our journey of shooting a short film by yourself. If you miss any of the previous 10 episodes, you're seriously missing out. So go hit that playlist after this one. Now, in our last adventure, we delved into the realm of screenwriting. If you haven't caught that episode, stop right now and give it a watch. Trust me, it's the foundation of what we're diving into today, all right? Today, we're tackling the beast known as script breakdowns. <laughs> Picture it as the superhero of pre-production, because it is, okay? <laughs> the unsung champion that lays the groundwork for everything that follows. We'll dive deep into how a breakdown impacts your budget, optimizes your schedule, and transforms your script into a lean, mean filmmaking machine. So get ready to conquer costs, crush deadlines, and shoot your short film like a pro. And stick around for a Celtics tutorial. If you're an inspiring filmmaker, video creator, or a screenwriter, buckle up because this is where the real fun begins. But before we dive in, do me a solid, okay? <laughs> Smash that like and hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell to be notified every time I drop a new episode. Now let's get into it. First things first. What exactly is a script breakdown? Well, I want you to think of it like a blueprint for your film. It's dissecting your script scene by scene, uncovering every hidden nugget, locations, actors, props, costumes, special effects, the whole shebang. It's basically a roadmap to shooting sanity. Okay, keep it straight. Now, you may be wondering, why bother with this? breakdown business, huh? Okay. That's an excellent question. A script breakdown isn't just busy work. It is the roadmap guiding you through the intricate world of production. It's not just about scenes and lines. It forms the bedrock upon which your production's budget and schedule are built. The breakdown guides you to assess the resources required for each scene, enabling you to create an accurate budget estimation that reflects the scope of your indie film. Now, you might wonder, hey, uh, how does this breakdown stuff affect the schedule and budget, okay? <laughs> well, another great question. A well-done script breakdown, it's like a crystal ball for your film. It helps you foresee the resources each scene demands, paving the way for a seamless production journey without burning holes in your budget. So let's explore further how it impacts the budget. So I want you to imagine your script as a treasure map each scene's a hidden chest, and the breakdown is the key to unlocking its costs. Here's how it works. First, we're gonna discuss locations. You have a mansion rental, right? You have a rooftop chase? Every location has a price tag. The breakdown helps you estimate costs from permits to security deposit. Next, cast and crew we're gonna talk about. How many actors and how many days will you need them? The breakdown tells you exactly who you need, when, and for how long, letting you budget for salaries and meals. Then there's props and costumes. That magical amulet, the astronaut suit, the breakdown lists every prop and costume, helping you allocate funds for rentals, purchases, or just do it yourself magic, okay? And what about special effects? You want some dragon fire, time travel? Well, the breakdown identifies every effect, allowing you to research costs and plan for creative workarounds. But I want you to think smoke and mirrors, not CGI dragons, okay? <laughs> but the breakdown isn't just about the money. It's your shooting schedule superpower. It allows you to move strip boards and group scenes by location, cast, or special effects to maximize efficiency and minimize travel. No more bouncing around between a haunted mansion and your grandma's basement in a single day. Furthermore, you can assign scenes to specific shooting days based on complexity and logistics. The breakdown becomes your deal to-do list, keeping you on track and avoiding on-set chaos. For instance, if you have several scenes that require a process trailer, you will group them all together so you can shoot those car scenes all in one day, which means only one day of rental. So let's discuss how I group scenes in my short film, The Cost of Silence. My breakdown saved me time, which ultimately means saving money. So here's what I did. I grouped all the scenes where I wore this workout outfit to be shot all on the same day. There were several smart reasons why I grouped all those scenes on the same day. And I'll elaborate on how it can benefit you. 
First, it's all about efficiency. I reduce costume changes. This minimizes the time spent changing clothes between scenes, saving you valuable feminine time and keeping your cast and crew on schedule. This also helps with location continuity. Grouping scenes shot in similar locations together reduces the need to reset lighting, sound, and props, further improving efficiency. The second reason is a budget. Grouping reduces laundry costs, Washing and drying workout clothes less often can save money on laundry expenses, especially if you're filming on a tight budget. And yes, you need to wash the actor's clothes or pay them a stipend to get their clothes clean. Now, this grouping also reduces the need for additional outfits. By limiting the number of outfits you wear, you potentially save money on wardrobe rentals or purchases. Now, the last reason for grouping is logistics, which is a huge budget saver. You will have reduced company moves if your workout scenes take place in a specific location. Filming them all together minimizes the need for multiple trips to that location, saving time and transportation costs. Transportation will eat your budget up. Now, I'm gonna tell you, especially if you move in trailers, okay? Now, overall, grouping scenes based on costume is a smart strategy that can save you time, money, and logistical headaches. It demonstrates your attention to detail and commitment to efficient filmmaking. Remember, the specific benefits will depend on your individual project and circumstances. However, the principles of efficiency, budget optimization, and logistical planning apply to most filmmaking situations. Now, if any of this is blowing your mind, give that like button a high five. <laughs> and if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button. Your support means the world, and I'm here to help you on this epic filmmaking journey. All right, now, grab your notebooks and pens, folks, because I'm about to walk you through a step-by-step -step guide on how to do a script breakdown. This is your passport to organize stress-free filmmaking. So let's get down and dirty. So here's how you conquer the breakdown beast. First, grab your script and a highlighter. Break it down scene by scene, listing every element like a meticulous elf on the Santa's inventory list. <laughs> Honestly, I'll show you a more efficient way of doing this in the Celtics, but it's good to learn how to do it manually. So stay locked in to get that Celtics tutorial. Next, you're going to pinpoint where each scene takes place. Is it a haunted mansion or your grandma's basement? Be specific. After that, list every character in each scene, even the animals. Then you're going to mark the props you need from a magical amulet to a suspicious banana peel, list them all. Then you need to figure out what your characters wear. Are they space pirates or couch potatoes? Dress them to impress or terrify, okay? <laughs> now, what about special effects? Need a dragon, a meter or a shower? <laughs> Don't be shy, list any special effects, even if they involve glitter and duct tape, okay? So, do you remember Celtics, our script writing bestie? <laughs> Turns out, it's a breakdown badass too. Use its built-in breakdown tools to make your life easier. Color code scenes, generate reports, and feel like a Hollywood pro without the Hollywood drama. All right, y'all, I want you to grab your laptops and let's break down a scene together in Celtics. I'll walk you through each step from scene headers to prop pandemonium okay get ready to unleash your inner breakdown boss all right we're gonna use my short screen play the deadly cost of silence i've been saying cost of silence but just so y'all know i did change the name of it <laughs> but anyway so we're gonna use my short screen play as an example and i only have a page on here but i'll take you to the main one after i show you how to do this okay so what you would do is come over here to this breakdown tab and you will click it so now it takes you to the breakdown so as you can see it automatically puts in the information for locations because right here that scene one that is telling the system that this is your location so see how much easier it is compared to the manual is doing it for you it also automatically did your character but i want you to know just say for instance if you had another character see how mr o'brien is in this scene well it didn't recognize mr o'brien so what you will do is because mr o'brien is not an official character 
He's a voiceover. So you will come over here and highlight it. And then once you highlight his name, you will come to this um, breakdown item list. And then you would hit the drop down box. And then you will go to I'm moving ahead <laughs> character. And then boom, now you have added a character to your breakdown. Okay, so now if you wanted to do a prop, we will come over here, like say for instance, this is a cell phone. So you'll come here, you'll highlight it, then you'll again, you'll come to this drop down list, and then you will find props. All right, so then say for instance, if you have another prop right here, then you would add that to props as well. Now, I want you to see see how props and characters is up here. It's because I just used those, so it will remain there as long as I keep doing it. But if I start clicking on other stuff, then it's gonna eventually go back into alphabetical order, as you can see that this list is in, right? Okay, so say for instance, um, if they don't have everything there like you need to add something like say for instance if you want to add like some special equipment so you will basically come over here to this plus sign and then you would add the item name right there so let's say for instance if i wanted to use a steady cam in this then i will add it there and then i will scroll down the drop down to special equipment and then I'll press OK. And now it is added. Say, for instance, if I wanted to add wardrobe, then I would put workout clothes. Now, mind you, you would not do workout clothes because this is so general. It's only for special items. So let's, let's do a special item. Say, for instance, if she's a police officer, so a uniform, right? And then we'll put that there. And then we will go to wardrobe okay and then you would add that there okay so that's how you add additional stuff all right so now i'm going to take you to my actual screenplay so you can see a couple of other things that i have done to the script breakdown okay as you can see i have highlighted several different things in this so say for instance, I highlighted rings. So this is just a note for sound effects. And you know, like if you had a um, sound designer or whatever looking at your script, it's just, it's just letting you know that there's a sound effect there. You don't necessarily have to do that, but it helps you so you can remember exactly what kind of effects you may need. And then say for instance, I highlighted classical music. So maybe you want to actually play the classical music on set, you know, instead of just adding it later in post, you may want to do it on set. So then you'll just highlight that there. So you'll know that you need to have that music on set. Say for instance, with Mr. O'Brien, I highlighted this voiceover. And the reason why I did that is that's just a note for the first AD and the sound mixer on set that you would need to remember to get Mr. O'Brien pull him to the side so you can get that voiceover because that person obviously is not going to be in the scene with Clarissa shooting at the same time. So you have to remember to get that voiceover. And then as you can see, I highlighted headline and I put have that as miscellaneous and that is to remind me to make a the graphics for that headline so those are just some of the things that you can do when you are looking at your script breakdown okay and as you can see i have other equipment here so I have a slider because this is what I actually used when I shot the scene. I used the slider and then I had my tripod extender. So those that was my reminder of what I needed to do when um, creating this. Okay, so once you complete your breakdown sheet, then you can come over to the reports 
And these are all the different reports. As you filled out that that breakdown sheet, it was creating information. It was feeding these reports. So say for instance, these are the breakdown sheets. You can open this up and then you, as you can see, it has everything listed. It has the hair and makeup. It has the lights and camera setup. It has the, you know, how my hair is gonna be done, the type of props that I need, the type of special equipment, wardrobe. All of that is all added to the breakdown sheet okay so you see how easy that is you not you don't have to be completing all these different forms because if you was doing this manually it would take you a lot of time because you would have to do each and every sheet now see how simple that was <laughs> if you're hungry for more knowledge on the nitty-gritty of production check out my online course leveling up your film business we're talking script breakdown scheduling budgeting and everything in between plus other lessons like business plans pitch decks marketing and distribution strategies and attaching talent so click the link below and let's turn your filmmaking dreams into reality so there you have it my amazing creators script breakdowns explain celtics unleashed and you armed with knowledge to conquer the world of solo filmmaking if you made it this far in the episode share this affirmation Budget boss, you schedule slate. Okay, I just added a little bit. Budget boss, schedule slate. <laughs> also, if you found this video valuable, smash that like button, hit subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments. Stay tuned for the next episode where we'll dive into the fascinating world of production scheduling. Until then, keep creating, keep dreaming, and keep rocking that film business. <laughs>